And welcome back to Boom and Bust. I'm your host, Tony Clement, uh, continuing our discussion with Senator Leo Husakos from the province of Quebec. Uh, Senator, you were talking, you were just about to talk about a, an experiment that Google was doing in terms of uh, news uh, content sharing. Please continue. Yeah, they, there was a few weeks ago where, where Google, uh, as a result of C-18, wanted to send a message, I think, to the government and to the, and to the journalistic community, where for a few days they did not carry uh, certain articles and certain content that journalists uh, were, were posting through through their, their platforms. And there was outrage. A number of politicians who were tearing their shirts in indignation, talking about how Google is blocking Canadian news, which is, of course, a lie. Google wasn't blocking anybody. They just weren't carrying that particular content on their platform. If you wanted to go see an article written by a particular journalist at the Globe and Mail or the Post or, or CBC, all you had to do was go to their websites, their direct websites, and see their content. But this is a case in point where they benefit by going on Google and going on these platforms because they amplify very much their content and their work. So Google obviously benefits because they get a lot of traffic and the journalist in question benefits because they get enormous amount of exposure vis-a-vis -vis their content. Now, there's some journalistic organizations, uh, and I'll use the Globe and Mail as an example. They've been in arrangements with electronic platforms for years mm. and they have a paywall for example and a very effective model and they're making they clearly are making money other organizations have been late to the game their model is not as successful but the trudeau government has this panache of always trying to determine who the winners are and who the losers are and again in a free market economy uh, and in a healthy economy that's not the right approach in my humble opinion yeah, you raise a good point as well about uh, the Liberal government, specifically Heritage Minister Pablo Rodriguez, uh, seems to be wanting to uh, pick a fight with the tech giants. He sees this as the little guy versus the tech giants. Uh, is that politically going to work for him, do you think? I think he is misguided on every front on this. Number one, they miscalculated the fact that young Canadians who are traditional liberal voters in this country in 2015, 2019, 2021, are the most outraged by bills like bills like C-11 and C-18. They love their freedom on the internet. They love the fact that they can have unfettered information. Furthermore, he's absolutely right. I don't have any love loss for the tech giants. They're successful businesses. Their models are doing well. At the end of the day, what I do appreciate, I think many Canadians appreciate, is the liberty that has been afforded us to bypass, like I said, the gatekeepers at Telefilm Canada, uh, Heritage Canada, the CRTC, and we're able to get information and send out information to the world like we never have before. It's an amazing tool. Some people use it for nefarious activities, unfortunately, and misinformation, and we have to be prudent about these things. But by and large, it gives average young Canadians an opportunity to showcase what they have. And the other message here that's important with these bills is the Trudeau government is sending a message that they don't trust Canadians to make their own choice of what they should be watching and what they should be posting and so on and so forth. I have faith in Canadians. I think we're talented. I think we're strong. I think we can punch above our weight as we always have. All we need to do is give Canadians the liberty and the freedom to do it. I noticed that uh, this is starting to become a little bit of a cross-border issue too. Isn't that right, Senator? Uh, the Americans, or some Americans, have, have raised a, a, a bit of a red flag on this. Is that what you're hearing as well? Well, for sure. I mean, our, our, our largest trading partner is the United States, and, and they d would love to, they never like protectionism. Who does? And there's always the risk of tit for tat uh, when you're, you're going after a, a large company, American companies, and putting into place protectionist discriminatory policies, uh, there's always a risk of retaliation. And we know the Americans are not afraid to retaliate when it comes to protecting uh, their interests. So that's uh, that's also something that, uh, that concerns me and should concern all Canadians. What's the next stage for this bill? Well, C-18 has just been sent, uh, we did second reading at the, in the Senate, it's been sent to committee and actually we'll be starting our study next week. So the Senate is uh, knee deep in uh, C-18 and, and C-11 uh, and we'll be giving it a thorough study and, uh, and see where it goes. The other concern with C-18 for me ultimately is that uh, all these type of bills always lead to less choice for Canadians and higher costs. Right, right. And 
and and and that's you know no one seems to talk about that no right. one ever seems to care about the consumer exactly i'm afraid we're out of time but very interesting uh, discussion uh, senator good luck with your deliberations on these issues thank you so much